Hey, sorry, I got a phone call and it booted me off. I told you I'm not really sure about the specifics of this phone right now, so. Anyway, I'm just trusting the designer because I don't know how I feel about pink and red. Like, it doesn't look right to me, but. And I think, okay, I was going to say, I think it's, yeah, Anchor, DMC, and Madeira threads. So, I'm, I imagine there's a little bit <clears throat> lost in translation there, but um, if I don't like it, I could pull it out. But I'm thinking that it's going to be fine, and I'm not likely to pull it out anyway. I don't like to pull frogging unless it's like detrimental to your project I don't do it okay so here is Cricut collection February um, I have made quite a bit of changes on this one um, because of my fabric choice so <clears throat> the fabric is like a remnant that I got antique pink 28 count I think it's um Weeks Dye Works which you can tell by the openness of this the you know very um classic Weeks <laughs> open weave here and like I mean I've got it folded over and you can still see through it anyway I've made quite a few changes because of the lightness of the fabric that the, um, some of the colors didn't show up so good. So, I think when it's finished, um, it will be great, but, um, uh, it's kind of hard to work on because of the openness, like, you know, of course you can't drag your, <clears throat> um, your floss across the back because it shows up like crazy and, um, it gets really wonky if you don't have your threads pulled just the right tension, you know, you know. Okay. Oh, I dropped on. Here is, we're not even through the first bucket. This is from Cross Stitch Gold. I think it's the same magazine as that other one. Folk Angel, Folk Christmas Angel. Yeah. Hulk Christmas Angel. This is on uh, 32 count lamb's wool, I think. No. What is it called? Can't remember. Right now. So there's the basket, part of the bird, some whatnots. Um... This is a very delicate piece. It is over two though, but um, it's a it's still it's a pretty open weave also, not to the extent of the other, but you definitely have to watch your tension because you know they those little tiny threads. Okay, moving right along. Are you having fun? Here it, oh, this is one of my favorite ones. I love it so much. This one is one that I, I crave a finish for, I will say. So it is um, Easter Basket from Just Cross Stitch, and that's a black and white photo, which you know is not going to show you much, but <clears throat> this will. This is 36 count, that same Moon Glow from Colorscapes. It's picture this plus, but um, it says Colorscapes hand dye. Anyways. Um, so I'm doing um, one thread over two. It's so delicate and so pretty. It's not even backstitched. Look at it. I can't even. That's just so pretty. I love it. I can't remember. I don't think there's any blends in this, but you, you would think that there was because of the transitions <clears throat> this is an artiste kit um, called glorious no floral splendor 
Um, this is the one I was talking about that splits like crazy. The threads are so frustrating. Uh, can't hardly see, can you? Well, here, maybe this. There we go. It's, it's Ada. It's just black Ada. Um, I don't mind working on the Ada for the dark fabrics, I'll tell you that much. And I love this one, but it's just so frustrating with the threads. So, anyway. And, oh my gosh, the fractionals. Oh! The fractionals on the Ada with splitting threads. Mm -mm. I tried to work on it for about a week. I might have made it a week. And, oh, and, oh no. Black Ada, fractionals, splitting threads, and blended threads. So I'm saying. So I'm lucky if I made it a week on that. I don't remember. Okay. I think this is the most recent one I posted. No, no, no. I had one more I posted about on Instagram. And I will put my Instagram below, but it's literally the same thing as my channel. This is Fall Wreath. Um, just cross stitch October 2014. I love this little folder. It's not good for all the projects, but this, but um, the ones that aren't so thick, like it has this sleeve that I put the picture on here. And then it's clear, so usually I put my um, symbols on this side when I'm working on it, so I don't have to keep getting in and out or whatever. And I mark up my original charts. I print copies. I cut my stuff up. Doesn't bother me one bit. So I guess if you want to see it. And this is, where's the tag? Did the tag fall off? I guess it did. It's um, 28 count Jaslyn Golden Harvest. Very, very plump fabric. I guess maybe the Jaslyn. So I was working on, I used to work on Q-snaps and, well, of course I, I started on hoops like everyone and then worked on Q-snaps. Recently, changed back to hoops and I just prefer, I tried in hand, just couldn't get, just couldn't get the hang of it. I enjoy like the textileness of it, but I could not, um, get the hang of it. So I've been stitching, point is I've been stitching with a hoop lately and I really like it. And I wanna get a lap stand for a hoop. So this is a freebie from Colleen Carrington. And every time I show this, um, people wanna know about it. So I will try to um, find her, but I, I literally just Google the Hogwarts Crest by Colleen Carrington, but I will still list it before, below because um, there's always someone who wants to know. So <clears throat> This is being stitched on Black Ada. 14 count Black Ada. Okay, and that's where we are here. Um, finished Slytherin, working in Gryffindor. It's very fun. The back stitch on the snake was no joke. No joke. I really tried to follow the chart, but I don't know. Are you done yet? No, I'm not done. Do you need me? Oh, where's that? Uh, no, I don't know. What? Look around. Okay. Um, this is a project bag I made, one of only, I think I have two project bags. One was made for me, and I'll show it in a minute, and then this one I made on the inside. From the lovely and talented Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial, Twisted Stitcher. Okay, I'm looking for the cover. Okay, this chart's kind of falling apart. I really need to probably make copies. Um... 
Design Works, right? Jim Shore Design Works, um, 12 Days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Lots of people working on this. Black Cat Stitches. Um, lots of people. I'm, I'm gonna, in fact, I need to go check out. See, it's like some, some I remember as somebody that I followed and subscribed to. And so I have to like, <laughs> if I'm not at my phone to go and immediately look um, them back up, then I try to remember and anyways. Okay, this got crazy threads going everywhere, but here we are. Um, I've backstitched a bit. I really am trying to backstitch as I go because you know how it is at the end. You're like, I'm done. Oh, but I'm not, I'm so far from done. Um, oh, apparently that wasn't attached, but his little face is so sweet. It's not even all the way done and it's so sweet. Total, I mean, I have, what's funny, so many errors in this business right here. And, um, I'm sure you keen eyes can tell, but it doesn't, I can't, I'm not sure if I pointed it out to everybody, if you'd be able to tell. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I had hoped to finish that one last year, and I'm not even sure it'll get finished this year, but, you yeah, know, here's open. Probably not. Okay, this is the other bag I have, and this was made by one of my favorite people, Jen, and Jen's Crafty World, and she is on YouTube, and you must check her out, and she does the most gorgeous crochet. Look at this. And the inside is this. I, I've shown this on my, my videos before. But if you didn't see me, you wouldn't know. Jen, you're so talented. Okay. This is, um, I thought it was appropriate for the back. European Bistro. And it is obviously a dimensions kit. And many, many people have stitched that. And I'm pretty sure... Um, Stash Queen is stitching it, and who else is coming to mind? Andrea, did you stitch it? Okay, and here we are. I have not backstitched on this, and I'm gonna regret it, but whatever. Okay, so this is an interesting thing on this. Um, half stitches. I, um, okay. Can you see? Uh, you can't really tell. Okay, so I kind of did an experiment because I have heard from people I trust that um, it that they they want on these kits that you do not have. They're not going to, and their last leg will not cross in the same direction as your other leg because you're just doing the half stitch. And that seemed counterintuitive. But like I said, these are people I trust. And I thought, well, I'm just going to make. And then somebody said something to me on Instagram about, no, 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 no. They need to, to cross the same direction, even though they're really half stitched. So anyway, I have that particular project where they do not. And then I have another one where they do. And I'm just kind of curious in the end if it makes a difference. I will see. For the fun of it. Why not, right? <clears throat> Okay, so this is um, the Prairie Schooler New World Sampler. It's a, you know, Christopher Columbus um, type thing that I will display on his month. And here's the ship. It has so many errors. <laughs> it's like not even funny. I, I really can't even figure out all of the errors and really hoping it's not going to be a problem, but I don't know. Okay. Ugh, I can't get it to lay right. Oh, well, you're just going to have to um, see it for what it is. So I love this fabric and I, I can't, I, I lost my tag or something or no, no, no. What it was is I got it from a remnant bin 
and they didn't know what it was. It reminds me of like, like a surfboard or like, uh, no, 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 you know those old, um, my, my friend's mom had one uh, on the side of the car. It was like wood grained or whatever. And I don't know, that just feels beachy to me and sailboats and whatnot. And it just, I think it's so perfect for this. I love it. And I would buy more of that fabric for sure, but I don't know what it is. <clears throat> and it's soft. And it's a linen, but it's very consistent linen. Okay. This is from a magazine, but I don't think it's just cross stitch. It is, I think, the world of cross stitching. Retro Mrs. Smith. She's so cute. So cute. Okay. And um, I was looking at the time. On this part of the video, it's been 60 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all. There's my star right there. Can you see her? <laughs> Isn't she so cute, Mrs. Smith? Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Um, must have been like a mania start. 28 count peach rose. Really pretty fabric. That's a better coat representation, but you can't even see the stitching. Wow, I did not know it was quite that bad. That couldn't even be one thread. It couldn't. What probably happened was that I didn't have the color I needed or something. And it was a substantial amount, so I probably put it away. You know, and honestly, likely, a lot of these in here are not even started, but they're kind of like kitted, and I, I, I call that a whip, so. Ugh, this is one of my favorites. Okay, this is out of the so talented Polyvon. Um, the best of Polyvon. And I pretty much want to stitch everything in here, but currently this is Oh man. I have the chart tagged, but not the You may not get to see it. You might have to use your imagination. I think it's called Summer Breeze. Yes. Summer Breeze. Um, <laughs> tried probably the most ambitious one in here. Okay. And, ugh, dropped it on the floor. When you're working with the stark white, it's like, look how big it is. And this is, oh, there. this is that wonderful one that I left someone. Witchell imports Strogolin Antique White 20 count. Yeah. All right. That's the start. And of course, there's tons of color changes. Um, and it's so pretty already. And you can't even tell that that's the quilt. Um. I think about that one a lot. Need to. Well, I don't need to. I will. I'll get there. Okay. This is um, Cricut Collection Sit for a Spell. And I have had to make some color changes on this one as well because of my fabric choice. This is stitched on 32 count Thistle by Picture This Plus. Very, very purple fabric. Um, that vulture, <laughs> he's funny. Anyway, um, I think my, f I did get like a really long piece because of it, you know, it's wide, but I think I'll be able to use it for some ornaments or something on the bottom part, which is nice. Cause the only thing is it's very, like I have to have some some good light worse than if I was working on a black fabric um, because of the variegation and the, and the darkness it's like it plays tricks on your eyes 
and, and it's 36 count, so which is about as high as I can go. <clears throat> All right, we're not still not through the first bin, so anyway, Snowman Quartet, and this I want to say is just cross stitch. <clears throat> Just cross stitch December, November, December 2013. And I am stitching them all on one piece. Um, I just think they would be cute that way. So this is on MCG Textiles 32 Count Natural, which I love the color of, but I really dislike um, the inconsistencies. In it. Hey, I'm not done. You can come in, but I'm not done. Um, so I, I started them all, but very small amounts. So, because I wanted... Did you say you're not done yet? <coughs> no, I'm not done. Okay. <clears throat> so, like, in each corner, I have just a bit of the snowman started. You know? Um, I mean, literally just a thread on... on but, um, yeah. I try to fold them differently each time. Uh, Trisha, you know, at three out threads, that was like a thing last year. She said, "Don't fold your fabric the same way," and and I had already, but kind of thought that was a, like a probably a no-no. But now she said, "I was like, well, that's for sure." Trisha knows. So, okay, this one is almost finished. I just need to back stitch it, and I really. I really, really don't want to. Um, it's not even small. I mean, big. I could totally finish this in like a day if I would try. So, <clears throat> um, it's called Groovy Mushroom, and it's supposed to be a towel. No, um, and there's like I kind of improvised a little bit. I don't even remember how now, but. I did somehow change up some stuff. Uh, but that's just cross stitch. The month's not on there. But if you want to know, I can find out for you. Yeah. Groovy mushroom. And I, I honestly think I'll probably just, <clears throat> you know, cut and put the, and, hang, and, and leave it in this little um, hoop. Put some felt on the back. Call it a FFO after it's back stitched. Someday. Okay. Hey. Yes. This is Jillian. <laughs> She's in seventh grade. <clears throat> okay, so Miley. Miley, you can't stay in here. This is um, Design Works Jim Shore's Spring Angel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I changed out the Ada on this one. And I'm using. You can. I'll, I'll let her out in a minute. Just close the door. She'll sit down. Um, oh, <laughs> this is a big start. I think, I think what it was was I started it on the Ada and I just kind of wanted to change it for some reason and so I started it I restarted it on this it's 32 count vintage blue whisper by I don't remember but um that's all I have is that bit of blue but the color it's really hard to tell it's like a hand painted I bought a huge piece of this fabric <clears throat> when I bought it for one of my, probably my very favorite project that will come up eventually. Put this back together. <laughs> I hope you have a beverage. Or a pause button. Okay. This is an 
ornament from, I want to say the Just Cross Stitch Ornament, November, December 2013. So it must have been a, a monthly, not a, um, not the ornament. And it's called Joy, obviously. Holiday Joy. And I changed some colors because of my fabric choice. This is on, you know, green and I put it on red. So, um, it's called Christmas Red. How appropriate, right? And that's where I am. Using a lot of white and um, a lot of white and a lot of yellow to make it stand up. And then the green and obviously the trees that, the, that it'll have. So. Here is this fabric is probably going to blow out on the camera. It always does. It's called Diva. It's 36 count Edinburgh pictures plus Diva. And from back here, you can, it's, it's pretty accurate. It's so pink. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, it's, it's being done, um, one over two and that's all I have, but, um, you can't, you can't even tell what color it is cause it's so pink. I think it's like yellow, maybe white, yellow. You good girl laying on your pillow. All right. This is, was a mania start, I want to see. Dandy Wishes from Just Cross Stitch, April 2015. It's black and white, you're not gonna be able to tell anything. I really like this, it's mostly backstitch. So, no, not only backstitch, but French knots. So, you know, this one's on the, um, what is it we do? Wine and Whips for June, I think it's June. Um, so there's, you. I've got some French knots. Okay, so it would go like this. <clears throat> You know, the stem, I've got some fringe knots and some of the back stitch in there. And this is also on that 32 count vintage blue whisper. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I think that's a hand painted. Yeah, I did say that. It's so nice. Okay. Um... This was, okay, you guys know Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. If you don't, you should, but I'm sure you do. Um, this was a freebie she gave, um, Summer's Glory. And it's really thick. Um, it's 20 pages. And obviously it's not like full coverage 20 pages, but still. <laughs> so Some of these starts, it's like, um, <laughs> that's my start. That's my start. That would make some people, that's probably making some people claw, claw, claw the wall. Like, what? Can't you do that? And then put it away. <clears throat> I don't know. But that's pretty, it's pretty big. So I, I might, I might have some time to, to before that one gets done. <clears throat> Okay. And no, we're still not doing first basket. <laughs> okay, this is also a wine and whip. Um, this is Easter Morn. Just cross stitch April 2017. So pretty, but it's on a week's style works, or if it's not weeks, I'm guessing it is. It was a remnant. It's 30 32 count twilight blue. And see how, look at it. It's like a piece of cheesecloth. Um, <clears throat> and you have to, you have to, there's like five colors in every one of those butterflies and flowers, and you have to uh, tie off every time. You can't, you can't even. Um, I know, 
I've looked at the pen stitch. I just can't get the hang of it, but. I don't know. Anyway, here is, I hesitate to even say that this is a whip because I got to take it out. But like I said, to me, I mean, if you've got something kitted, you might as well call it a whip. <clears throat> so this is Heartstring Samplery um, Cross Stitch Nation, Nation, right? Uh, I would love to have this finished and, and done, but, and I'm stitching it on 32 count raw white. But what the thing was, I just, I was doing the DMC and there's her in the middle. Can you close the door? It's kind of loud. My son's playing with this train and it's kind of loud. Um, anyway, and then the next color, which is really cute on the fabric and all, but I just think it clashes and and then it occurred to me that this might be one of those ones that just going and getting some variegated whatever strikes my fancy um, and stitching in those clothes wouldn't be a big deal you know like oh I want her to have this pink dress and him to have a navy suit and uh, so I gotta t I'm gonna take that up probably and start over. <coughs> this is a wine and whip because I just don't really like 18 count Ada. My stitches never look good. Um, I love, 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 love the project so much. And so, which is why I'm going to persevere too far to start over, but, oh man, I'll have to go for that in a minute, but, um, one of my things fell out. Uh, I just think my stitches just never look good on the 18 count Ada and, um, I mean, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I was being too critical of myself because, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, goodness, because now it, it doesn't seem so bad. The last time I put it away, I swore it was just awful. <coughs> hmm, interesting. That's by Leslie Tear from Just Crusted, no, 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 uh, World of Cross Stitching. Yeah. Did you show them um, the thing? I haven't got to that one. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know where it is? Uh, yeah. Where is it? It's um, in the blue bucket. Oh. This one right here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, this was a stitch along, a mystery sal from Tempting Tangles. I don't have a picture of the finished because they were all released, um, you know, through PDF. But this is on that 36 count moon glow. Uh-huh. And oh, don't don't get in there, Bubba. <laughs> I'm not sure sitting is any safer. He's standing in a wagon. Um this is it was called the Welcome Sal. And <clears throat> um I I lost my train of thought. I was thinking. Can you pull No, I can't pull you right now, buddy really don't think you should be pulled in it's not that kind of wagon really pretty delicate colorful I like it <coughs> I think I've got part one and part two done and there might be 10 or 12 because I think it was a year long yeah I'm pretty sure about that hey how about that we're almost through the first bucket okay okay this one, again, is I, mm, I don't really know if I should call it a whip because I think I might be done with it as far as, um, okay. So this is a Busilla stamped 
cross stitch. Uh, this was the very first cross stitch I ever had and um, it, you know, it's massive. And uh, anyways, so and every time I get it out, I kind of change my mind a bit, but um, there's the first one and there's the second one. And then I've got some border going on here. Oh, Captain. And then <clears throat> there's the monarch. Um, yeah, well, the thing is, more border in the middle. It smells like a dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could tell the dog was laying on me. Um, gosh, it's, it, it really is so pretty. But the thing is about it, it's not that enjoyable, if I'm being honest. And um, it's it's so big that, oh, oh, and actually the bigger detail is that it got water on it in lots of places. So um, much of it I'm going to have to improvise on. And, you know, and then there was like a spot of probably coffee here. And then I just, I don't know. So what I've considered is maybe cutting apart some of the butterflies, like my favorites, and finishing them some way. Like an FFO some way. It's just not necessarily the whole bedspread or the whole uh, flat quilt. And the other reason is because it's very likely, even if I did stitch all those, that I wouldn't even make the quilt. And then, I don't know, that just seems kind of like to power through that and then not make the quilt seems a little like a waste of time to me. But, uh, all right, this is, I think the second one I'm doing by Gail Bessie. It is just cross stitch. Hey, you're really loud. I need you to hop out of there and go see if my Leo leaf because she's now up because that you're up and she's clawing on the ground. Okay. Uh, tree farm. Just cross stitch. I don't think I said. Two, December 2016. And I got, I'm, I'm pretty good ways on this. At least I thought I was when I ended, so. He's in the closet now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, pretty good ways. Halfway, maybe. Trees for sale. Aren't they cute? Little Mr. and Mrs. Snowman that don't have their nose. Don't you love it to be baby talked to? So cute. Love, love, love it. I really do. Brandon, you're about to get kicked out. About to get kicked out. We are through the first bucket, people. <clears throat> I think I'm going to pause and um, reset for part two. Okay? See you soon.